What is Joshua? We're going to stick with Joshua because it feels right in my spirit. back to I Pack by Tina Sheree and welcome to your weekly message. And this weekly message is going to be entitled, Give You All. And don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. And we thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you will do. Lord, we love you and ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. And we repent for perpetuating those generational curses that we're sent down here to break. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes and ears, our hearts and minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground. We thank you for the revelation, the clarity, and the confirmation in the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn with me, if you will, in your Bible to Genesis 13 and 15. For all the land that you see, I will give to you and to your offspring forever. My goat. Um... I could have read like the verse before that, so verse 14, which talks about after Lot was removed, like after Lot was not there anymore, then God could actually give him what he had been promising him. Uh, mm, I'm gonna try my hardest not to, cause I'm like, I'm not trying to be all prophetic out here in these streets. Okay, but my question to you is, who is the lot that you're still hanging on to? Because hanging on to a lot is delaying you. Hanging on to a lot is delaying you. And God never said getting rid of Lot is going to be an easy thing. It's not. God never, ooh, when God gives you a promise, I'm very convinced that it doesn't mean just because I'm going to give you a promise. I'm, I'm just going to make everything just work easy for you. Come, Can we talk about it? Um, one of the main ones, since we're talking about Abraham right here in Genesis, um, when God promised Abraham and his wife, Sarah, um, or Sarai and Abram, um, a son, and they were just like, mm, I don't know how that's going to happen. I can give you those scriptures according to Tina, but I feel like I'd be a little bit I'm a little bit rough around these edges here. So I'm like, it may not be all that tamed. Let's talk about it. Like I'm sometimes, I'm my mouth is a little un inappropriate in these streets. Let me tell you, it may not be politically correct. So we're just gonna just leave it there. Just leave it right there on the table. We ain't, no, we ain't doing nothing. But um, we're talking about that. That promise came with a lot of waiting. And then after he got the promise, um, it came with, okay, now I, I gave it to you. Now I need you to go sacrifice it to me. Um, it's not easy. Um, the promise that, oh, I'm gonna deliver you to the promised land. Okay. And what would have taken a matter of like days ended up taking years, 40 years for Moses to um, be wandering in the wilderness and dealing with people. Let me tell you, dealing with people, my God. Ooh, ooh. Um, it's, ooh. That's all I, <laughs> we're gonna be polite. Um, it's difficult 
it came with pain. Let me tell you, um, Joseph, um, like the promise that you're, although Mary, that like that girl you want to marry, mm -hmm. um, she actually is going to be the, the mother of the promised king that's going to deliver your people. It's going to save millions. Okay. 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 Um, I'm pretty sure that came with a lot of ridicule. Can you imagine? My God, like, and people side eyeing you all the time. We know about this side eye. Let me tell you, you cannot walk with God and not have people side eyeing you. Can I just, I'm going to be real. I feel like you cannot walk with God and not have people side eye you. Miriam side eye and um, Moses and Aaron side eye and Moses. Oh my, okay. With those, it comes side eye. It comes a side eye. My God. It's just, you cannot have a promise of God and think that people aren't going to like doubt you. And let me tell you, some of y'all need to shut it up. Some of you, the reason you've been under attack so much is because you just, you're telling the business. I don't need you to tell any more business. It's done. What's done is done. Okay. Um, You'll just have to see it. Okay. You're just going to have to see it. No more telling your business out here in these streets. Um, because people are going to put their own stank, their own limitations, their own doubt um, on it all the time. So I'm going to say this. If God has made a promise to you about a certain thing, just know that it's going to come with side eyes. Once people even think they can get a glimpse of it, they're gonna side eye you all day in these streets. They're gonna they're gonna doubt you, which is then gonna cause you to doubt you. It's a funny thing this doubt. Mm, it's disgusting. But anyway, I'm gonna link in the description one of the life giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you. It will inspire you. Will change your life. Um, I just want to leave you with this. When Lot is gone, that's when God will give you it all. When Lot is gone. When Lot is gone. So thank you so much. This has been such an honor. And shalom. <laughs>